So basically, I will talk about the history and background of this alien wave, then the five waves of alien wave, and how to apply the alien wave, and forecast the stock price direction. Okay, so that's, that's the application part. So let's talk about the history first. What is alien wave? If you can identify repeating patterns in prices and figure out where we are in those repeating patterns today, you can predict where we are going. Because from the one assumption about technical analysis is that uh, by looking at the historical patterns, right, you can predict and forecast the future. Okay, and alien wave theory can allow you to do that by looking at the patterns, the repeating patterns, and then you can make prediction of the future price movement. This person, Ralph Nelson Elliott, is the father of the wave theory, which is commonly called and more accurately described as the Elliott wave principle. He was born in July 28, 1871 in Marysville, Kansas. So you can see that this person was long, long time ago, okay, hundred more than 100 years ago. And um, it was developed by him. And later people um, gather his um, notes and everything and then form a more, more um, concise and um, complete theory about this um, Elliott Wave theory. So this Elliot examined 75 years of historical data and came up with this theory. The wave principle was published on August 31st, 1938. So using the Elliot wave principle is an exercise in probability. Okay, so everything is about probability. So when you look at the Elliot wave, right, you must have a probabilistic mind. So an Elliotian is someone who is able to identify the market structure and anticipate the most likely next move based on our position within those structures. So you are looking at most likely next move, most likely next move. So you are looking at the probability here. The chances of having the next move is what? Just like just now I was um, looking at um, one of your chart and then I said that you are currently, you are having a correction. And then when you're having a correction, you do not know how will be the, the, the price action be. One, one way is that you have to cut loss first and then observe the correction before you move into the next move. Okay, so that's one, um, one strategy. Otherwise, you'll be able to, you need to, um, live with that kind of a correction. The correction can be nasty or a correction can be a mild one. You, you, you may never know. Okay, so that will be the correction. So Elliott wave um, pattern, right, consists of impulsive waves and corrective waves. Okay, so you have this impulsive waves and corrective waves. So if you were to look at here, the, the waves here, the impulsive Waves will be this one going up because this one over here is the uh, uptrend. Okay, so in the uptrend, the impulsive wave will be the uptrend here, uptrend, uptrend, and uptrend. Whereas the corrective waves, right, will be what? Will be the retracement and retracement. And this retracement will be the correction. And then if you were to look at if this whole thing is a big uptrend, if this whole thing is a big uptrend, it's a big uptrend, uh, this part over here, the whole of this part here will be a corrective wave. Okay, I repeat. Uh, if you think that this whole trend is an uptrend, just now we were saying that this one up, 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 and then this is correction, correction, right? And how about this part? This whole part here will be the correction of that of a, another bigger wave. This whole part here will be the correction of the another bigger wave. Okay, so therefore this part is a correction as well. And then this whole thing is a impulsive wave. 
if you do look at it, you, you can see this as a one impulsive way and then a correction wave and then another impulsive way. So, and, and this thing, right? And this smaller one, smaller waves will be happening within this impulsive wave, will be happening within it. Okay, so what we always um, call this is called the Elliott wave. One, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. So this A, B, C will be corrective waves. And then the one, two, three, four, five will be the impulsive waves. Okay. The one, two, three, four, five will be impulsive wave, and then ABC will be corrective waves. And then among the, the small wave, this will be the corrective waves as well. Whenever you see retracement, uh, retracement will be the corrective wave. And then the impulsive wave will be the main trend. So while applying the Elliott wave principle to any chart, we must keep in mind an important point. The Elliott wave principle does not provide certainty about any one market outcome. Instead, it gives you an objective means of determining the probability of a future direction of the market. Okay, there's no, nothing is 100%, I can assure you. In the world of investing, nothing is 100%, but we all look at the probability. Everything is about probability. What are the chances of having this? What are the chances of having that? Okay, so we, when we look at investment, we must have this, probabilistic mind in us that we can assess everything in terms of probability. Then we are able to, to, to execute certain action based on our, our own analysis. Okay, so when anything goes wrong, it's, you already done your best. You already assess everything. So you, you just have to let go. You don't have to um, brood over the, the, the incident. Okay, you have to let go. Because in investment, we do not always have win all the time. It's not possible. We always have winning and losing trades. Okay, it's just that we want to achieve that. We want to have more winning trades than losing trades. That's our objective. Now, this one, just now, we were looking at one, two, three, four, five, right? A, B, C. So then, like I said, Within that bigger trend, you have, a, you have a smaller trend as well. So the smaller trend will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C. Then that complete this wave. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, complete the second wave. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, complete the third wave. Now, if let's say you're looking at a downtrend, then down you also have one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. You also have that. One, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. You can also have that. So we can see that within that, that one wave down, okay, one, two, three, right, four, five, one, two, three. So within that one, I can have one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. Within this wave, I can have this thing. Within another wave, I can also have that. So, so that means we are looking at wave within the waves. Okay, waves within the waves. It, it's, it, is, it looks complicated, but then if you to understand, right, you just have to understand that in the, in the share price, right? It's either you have a main main wave, it means the uptrend, and then then um, the, the other trend will be the correction trend. So that means uh, in invest in the in the share price movement, right? It's either you have uptrend or you have a retracement, and you have uptrend or retracement. And this uptrend and retracement sometimes you can have horizontal up down up down horizontal or you can down one, two, three, four like this. So no matter what, you either will have an uptrend and a correction trend, uptrend and correction trend. If you are downtrend, means downtrend and a corrective wave, and then down and then corrective, down and corrective. So you only have these two ways. Either you are up or you are down. Either you are in a main trend or you are in a corrective mode. Only these two. And then within this main trend, trend you can have that. One, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. You can count this Elliott wave. So in short, if people were to ask you, 
what is what really is alien wave? What is it? Then you can say that alien wave is the counting of the share price whereby you will have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and A, B, C of this counting waves. Okay, it's made up of five impulsive plus three corrective wave. Okay, five impulsive plus three corrective waves is made up of these waves. It's a counting of the uh, price action. Okay.